Hi, this is Misha at CitizenServe. This month's new feature is the Quick Access Camera. Let's see how it works. The Quick Access Camera is one of the Quick Access tools located in the top right corner of your browser. This menu is responsive, so while your screen is moderately sized, it appears as a menu of icons. But on a smaller screen, the Quick Access menu turns into an up-down arrow icon. Clicking the icon displays the Quick Access menu. The Quick Access Camera is a great tool to use on your mobile device. I'm on an iPad Pro, but Citizen Service device and browser independent, so it will work from any recent browser on your favorite device. Select the camera icon from the browser on your mobile device. Now just click Take a Photo. In case you need to add a selfie, you can switch lenses by using the Rotate Camera button at the bottom of the window. Or use the Retake button to capture a new image. Select Use Photo to keep your picture. The Photo Taken window displays your location on the map. The Save Photo field gives you two options. You can add photo to an existing file. This option requires an open file to exist at the address. Or you can create a new file. Let's select Create a new file. Now I can pick my file type. I'll pick a code case. Remember, the list of file types you can create is tied to your system rights. Don't forget to save. And here's our Create Code Case form. I'm going to add a description using voice to text. Tall grass and weeds. I'll set the type to Code Enforcement. Finally, I'll click Save to create the case. And we've just created a code case using the Quick Access Camera. Let's add a couple violations. In the File Options in the left navigation pane, I'll expand the Add menu, scroll down, and choose Violations. I'll filter by Section to show only property maintenance violations. Then in the Description field, I'll select Overgrown Vegetation, which is likely to harbor vermin. Remember, your code violations will show your municipal code violations. I'll enter a follow-up date so the system will prompt us to re-inspect. Then I'll use the Save and Add Another button so I can enter a second violation. Here's the system prompt to create a re-inspection activity based on the follow-up date I set. So I'll click Yes here. Now I'll filter for property maintenance violations and I'll pick the Litter Track Debris violation. And let's set the same follow-up date. Then I'll Save. Now let's use the Quick Access Camera to add a picture of the debris to this case. Just click the camera icon, take a photo, select Use Photo. In the Save Photo field, I'll select Add Photo to Existing File. At the File Number field, when I click the ellipses, I see the case I just created. I'll check the box and save. Now in the Violation window, I can select the violation we just added and associate it with this photo. When I save, it takes me to the Documents tab where I can see both photos I've taken. Now I want to send a notice of violation, so I'll go back to the File Options menu and expand Send. I'll pick Letter. Remember, your templates were built for your environment, so your list should look different than mine. I'll pick Notice of Violation. I can add photos by clicking the blue circle here. I'll, I'll use the Select All button to quickly select both of my photos. And my form asks for a certified mail number, so I can input it in this variable field and it will display in my letter. You can have as many letter variables as you need. Now I'll generate the letter. If you have a Bluetooth printer, you can print it in the field, or save it to file and print it when you get back to the office. I'll save it now. And that's how you use the Quick Access Camera in CitizenServe.